In this video, we will construct a flowchart to calculate the factorial of a given number. But before that, let us understand what factorial is. A factorial is a function that multiplies a number by every number below it till 1. For example, consider n is equals to 4. Thus, the factorial of 4 will be 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 which is equals to 24. And hence, our program must print 24. So now, let's begin to construct the flowchart. At first, we will draw a starting terminator to indicate the starting point of the program. Now, we will accept an integer from the user and store it in variable n using an input component. Furthermore, a process box is implemented in which two variables are assigned with one. Let's say i is equals to 1 and fact is equals to 1. Moreover, we will add a decision box to check if i is less than or equals to n or not. If not, that is, if i is greater than n, then we will print the variable fact through an output component and end the program via end terminator. But if i is less than or equals to n, then we will implement a process box in which the variable fact is incremented by i times. That is, fact is equals to fact multiplied by i. Moreover, another process box is added to increment i by 1. And finally, a loop is created before the decision box such that it will verify the value of i for each iteration. Thus, unless and until the value of i is less than or equals to n, the fact variable is increased by i times. And when it exceeds, fact is printed and the program is terminated. Now let's dry run the program to understand it in better way. Consider n is equals to 3. At first, the variable i will be 1, also variable fact will be 1. Now, as i is less than or equals to 3, thus the condition in the decision box is true. And hence, the fact remains 1 as 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Additionally, i is incremented to 2. Similarly, again, as 2 is less than or equals to 3, the condition inside the decision box is true. Thus, fact becomes 1 multiplied by 2, which is 2, also, i is updated to 3. Again, as 3 is less than or equals to 3, thus the condition in the decision box is true. Hence, the variable fact is changed to 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6, and i is incremented to 4. At this point, the condition in the decision box becomes false, since 4 is not less than or equals to 3. As a result, the variable fact is printed which is 6 and the program is terminated. Thank you.